uh, pre-show, uh, if we're going to change yes. our change our uh, attention to pop culture, that there might be some news in the Star Wars field about yeah. uh, what they're thinking of doing with that trilogy. Mm-hmm. The most recent, yeah, trilogy, no, absolutely. I should say. Yeah, so absolutely, Matt. So uh, one of the recent topics was uh, for the new, the latest Star Wars movies, episodes seven, eight, and nine. Uh, there have been talks recently about what I, I don't know if they're legitimate or not, but there have been rumors that they are considering, or, or, or again, probably just rumors. They could be considering redoing episodes seven, eight, and nine just because of, I'm assuming one, the story just went haywire it, mm-hmm. by by the time the it was a quarter if not even halfway there at this the episode eight the whole story just from episode seven basically went out the window mm-hmm. then episode nine basically had to fix everything episode eight did so it's it's it was a complete crap sheet yeah. but i I'll, I'll put it this way I, one reason i could see them redoing it is because think about how much more money they could make off of this because sure, again yeah. You know, your Star Wars fans, and, and and you know, a lot of people are, you know, and and you hear, oh, okay, like let's let's just say if they redo episode seven, or or or, or at least you know, keep us episode seven, that's fine. If you at least redo episodes eight and nine, let's say episode eight comes out first, um, you know, you're going to get people excited, and you're, you're going to go, oh well, I'm sure it's going to be much better than the, the last episode eight. Episode eight, so I'm going to go see in the theaters and. You know, I'm gonna pay my money to see what this is like. Think about all the new merchandising for uh, for kids and everything, and all the Legos, all the all these toys, uh, the movie rates and everything. There's gonna be a lot of money at stake mm-hmm. here. The other thing I was thinking about is, would they keep the same cast? Would they recast? What would they do? So that so if they recast, they would have to restart seven, eight, and nine. Yeah. Yeah, they so, keep the same cast. Just full disclosure, I haven't actually seen episode nine yet. I've seen mm-hmm. eight and seven, but not nine. That's the only one I haven't seen. But yeah, we won't we won't spoil anything if you have a, yeah, a yeah, burning yeah. desire to, you know, eventually see. It. So yeah, so yeah, the yeah. way I see it, um, there's no way this is going to happen. You, you because I don't know how you can unring a bell that spanned six to seven years of mm-hmm. uh, a period of time for a lot of Star Wars fans. And you also and, have well known actors. Uh, directors and people write those yeah. ones too. Yeah, you had J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson, and then J.J. Abrams again, which are, they're, they're talented and they produce a lot of good things. Star Wars has a fan base that is impossible to please. Yeah. Because really is. episode seven, I thought was fine. But the yeah. reason why it was fine is because it was kind of a beat for beat reshoot of what episode four was. Yeah. Episode eight took a lot of bold, risky chances Risks. that just didn't really sit well with a big portion of the fan base and it just didn't work. And then once Disney realized that it made a lot of fans upset, they understood, okay, we have to try to find a way to make episode nine as safe as possible. They recasted the same director who did episode seven and it was just course correction for that entire movie of episode nine. And Whitmer, we won't spoil anything, but there really wasn't any vision for episode nine. They just didn't want to make people angry and when you don't want to make people angry, you're not focusing on the most important part, which is making a good, compelling movie and story. Yeah. Uh, that's not the first time either that the Star Wars fans have felt that way. No. Yeah. Because even the yeah. ones from like the 90s, 2000s, those sure. ones, like the first Star Wars fans, three, they're, 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 all, they're so hard to please to begin with. Because oh, yeah. the, in their minds, they have kind of their thinking of how the story should go. And like, listen, Star Wars, I mean, they have, they have a lot of things that are still going for them. I know the movies yeah. weren't as critically well-received mm-hmm. as they wanted to, but they still made a ton of money. Yeah. The Mandalorian on Disney Plus is a very good property. I mm-hmm. know that they have a lot of good animated shows, and they have plenty of other things in the works. Star Wars is going to be okay. coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have Kenobi that was rumored, and I know I think it was approved, but with coronavirus times, we have no idea when that's going to hit production. Yeah. So as – As much as I wish that the second trilogy was maybe more Mm well-received, I I don't think you can just redo it because it happened, move on, take it in another direction than the Skywalker saga, but give it a little bit of breathing room because we don't just want Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Something is great because it's not just Mm -hmm. punching you in the face every single Christmas. Right. Yeah, and that's another thing you mentioned is that literally every year – a new star or almost it felt like every six months a new star wars movie came out mm-hmm. like 
I, again, it was kind of nice, but at the same time, it's like, it's almost a little much. It's like, I love Star Wars, but at the same time, it's... What has there been? Uh, There's been five Star Wars movies in the yeah, past there was, years. Yeah, Since there was... 2015, mm-hmm. right? Because there's Force Awakens, 2015. Rogue One was 2016. Mm-hmm. 2017 uh, was Last Jedi. 2018 was Solo. And then 2019 was... Uh, um, Rise of Skywalker. Not Yeah. That's and fun. I didn't see Solo. Um, I hear it's. I, I like the cast okay. of, and that's in that one. What do you have? I like yeah, Donald so, Glover, Woody Donald Harrelson, Glover, and Amelia yeah. Clark. I'll put it this way: Donald Glover, he was perfect mm-hmm. as Lando Calrissian. He was absolutely perfect. I'm not surprised I, by that. I, I I went in with relatively low expectations because again, mm-hmm. I heard it wasn't going to do well. Again, I think it helped that I went in with low expectations because it actually wasn't that bad of a movie. I thought it was yeah. better than what people were saying. It wasn't amazing. Do you but guys I think, think that definitely... Star Wars fatigue is real? And this is a trick question. I want to first see what your response is and then I'll counter. So do you think Star Wars fatigue is a real thing right now? I think when you say Star Wars fatigue, yeah. like des- describe what your definition is. When I say Star, Star Wars, Wars fatigue, fatigue, I'm saying, are you tired of all the Star Wars? Is it too much for you? Do you think they should take more of a break? I have it on two fronts because I'd say that with that and also Marvel. I think oh, well, that was my counter. I was going to say that if there's Star Wars fatigue, there's only been five films. Marvel. There's been 23 yeah. Marvel films in the yeah, past 11 be, years. Yeah. But Marvel's still pumping out a lot of good quality movies. Yeah. But again, Star that, Wars that's the isn't. biggest thing, though. That's the biggest thing is Marvel is actually producing these phenomenal movies when Star Wars, some are up here the others are like down here and it's too roller coasty i think a big thing that marvel has going for it is that it wasn't already an established property you already had two stints of movies for star wars back in the 70s and 80s and the late 90s and early 2000s this is marvel just started Mm -hmm. in 2008 with regards to their cinematic universe and yeah there were other superhero movies but it really took off in 2008 yeah, you just yeah. Star Wars can't get over the fact that it has a really older population of fans from the 70s and 80s. It has a newer generation fans from the prequels, and now it's just trying to make everybody happy. Yeah. In, uh, actually, in the I will go back to Star Wars for a second, though, because one thing I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of 7, 8, 9, it just seemed like a bunch of, hey, look, look at all these people from the original. Yeah. They were just brought back. Mm. Right. And, and the other thing about, um, again, and that's so true, Whitmer. It's just they're trying to yeah. please people. Yeah. The other thing I really had a big issue with with 7, 8, and 9 is they had these great characters and they gave them the most boring storylines or just ruined their character, basically. I really didn't. I, like, I, I mean, the only character who I, who I genuinely thought was a good creation was Kylo Ren. Um, yeah. Like, I, I, I think that Rey was a was good early on but then you know the backstory with her parents was so poorly handled in episode yeah, eight and i was. won't spoil anything it, it there is more clarity in episode nine with regards mm-hmm. to ray but at that point you're just so upset at how they handled it the movie before that you didn't care mm-hmm. also a big one general S- snoke yeah, so I mean, we've that all was seen, one of the biggest letdowns. We've all seen episode eight at this point, and yeah. we know that the General Snoke was killed off halfway through the movie. Not even no. halfway throughout the movie, I don't think. I mean, yeah, I, I think it was close. I mean, at that point, yeah, was Ray was to brought it. into you know his chambers with Kylo Ren, and you know then eventually things started yeah, yeah, to yeah. get hairy. But I'll, I'll give Ryan Johnson this: like, it, it's refreshing that they decided to make a kill on that Palpatine s character. Yeah, but I. I, I wanted more of him. I, you know, I, right. I, I, I wanted more from General Snoke. Because, again, yeah, you know, and he, it is General Snoke, right? You know, it might be like uh, Emperor Snoke, whatever it is. It's yeah. Supreme, Supreme, Supreme yeah, whatever even... stupid title the well, episode well, just, eight and seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, for, but regardless, because, again, Andy Serkis, who voiced and did the animation for Snoke, he did a great job. Yeah, and as always, awesome. he's one of the best actors in the world. And really though they could have done wonders with that character same thing with captain phasma they did absolute jack squat with both characters they could have done more with everyone really yeah so like going back to it jeff because yeah. even like the villains too i think people in the star wars fandom look back to darth vader and like oh how is this either different or kind of similar in a way to what darth was but, but again like, you, you have to create your own kind of thing darth from vader. what was in yeah. those originals it just it, it just felt so comparable to like this new trilogy just felt so similar to 
you know, the original trilogy where your Ray is your Luke and your Kylo yep. Ren is your Darth Vader and your Snoke is your Emperor mm -hmm. Palpatine yeah. and your um, uh, what the pilot I'm blanking on. Poe Dameron. Name. Yeah, Poe Dameron is your Han Solo. It, and it's just we don't care about these characters compared to the Maybe iconic eight, ones. R two D two. Yeah, uh, yeah, you had to have a cute droid in there, and it just it just didn't work. It just didn't work for me. Yeah, but, but I was again, so excited. I was so yeah, excited. No. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, like, like each, so, you know, Force Awakens is very excited. So I, I will say this before we get, you know, talk about Star Wars and everything more. When George Lucas first sold Disney, I honestly, I think I even put this out on Facebook. I said, I'm not happy with the fact that George Lucas basically, you know, again, he sold Disney or sold Star Wars to Disney. And I said, right then and there, Disney's going to ruin Star Wars. They're going to change the outlook of Star Wars completely, and it's going to ruin it. And yeah, I, I mean, I don't. I mean, they, they did. They did do some good things. I will give them that for sure. They did a lot of bad things. Yeah, I mean, the mouse has a lot of power with regards to Hollywood these yeah. days. I he's don't got, think he's got some money in his pockets. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they outright destroyed Star Wars, but no. they yeah. just they just didn't make it what it could have been. It, yeah, just exactly. it just didn't. It just didn't have a good. I feel think it, it. I think this would have helped too if they would have done it. Kind. I just bring Marvel back into because Marvel went a long period of time before they ended their first like phase or whatever it was. Whatever. Yeah, phase one. It. Yep. But if you maybe you split it out when the Star Wars movie came out, maybe those would have been a little bit better, just because you would have had more time to work on them. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. And a big difference yeah, between yeah. Marvel and maybe Star Wars would have been like yeah. a little bit better, but I don't know how much difference that would have really been. And yeah. the big difference between Marvels and Marvel and Star Wars is that with Marvel, you had different characters leading each movie leading up mm -hmm. to the Avengers. And you knew what the end game was going to be, no pun intended. And not only that, of course, you had different directors taking different stabs at these yeah. movies while Star Wars just wanted but to go right back to J.J. Abrams. It all seemed like the, the directors all almost understood the direction of each other director and was able to work oh, I in a way with each other. I totally disagree. I, I, don't think, I don't think the directors had any cohesion. I think J.J. Well, right, Abrams but, wanted to do something and Brian Johnson for episode eight oh, said, no, 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 I sorry, want to do this. Sorry. I, 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 no, I miss both. Talking I'm talking about Marvel. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, for, Kevin for Star Wars. Dude, for, for Star Wars, J.J. Abrams was, was here and... Ryan Johnson was like in Mars. And listen, Ryan Johnson is great. Like he's done a lot of good episodes of Breaking Bad. He just did mm -hmm. Knives Out, which Knives was, out, awesome. was very good. Great. Yeah. But it, it just didn't work for Star Wars. And I don't think it all falls on. I respect him for taking for episode eight. I, I'll give episode mm -hmm. eight this. They tried to do something different. That different just did not work. Yeah. For Again, there's a, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of risk that Ryan Johnson took. He almost took a, almost too many risks. Honestly, with any Star Wars, I feel like you're going to take a risk if you're going to jump in there. Yeah. Like, it, I think at some point you're going to make somebody pissed off because it's not how they thought it was going to be. Bingo. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. And I'm no screenwriter. Like, I don't know what I wanted. Um, yeah. Like, because ap after episode seven, I mean, I remember seeing it. Jeff, I saw it with you. I, we yeah. saw it with Brian and, and Tommy, another friend of ours from high school yeah. at the time. And I was stoked heading into it. And yeah. walking out of the theater, I'm like, that was a really darn good movie. Yeah. But over the months and the years gone by, I'm like, well, it was the same movie that we've seen before in uh, A New Hope. <laughs> Episode four, A New Hope, right. Which, and like, I feel like Disney was kind of similar to what Jeff was saying, um, that Disney might ruin Star Wars. I think Disney knew that. And they said, okay, let's do something that we know is going to sit well. But it just didn't really take many chances. Yeah. Right. So what are you going to do? Either way, you're going to... Disney was going to see money no matter what because oh, it's Star Wars and not Marvel. They're going to bring that, in a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The other thing was, I forgot to mention, look at the theme parks out in Disney. I think Disney's going to be just okay with all the Star Wars uh, money. That's they're coming. fine. Yes. Oh, they're, and, they're, they're and, okay with it. And they're going to make more. Like, you know, yeah, I'm expecting I it. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I think it's going to be really hard to sell to a general audience, something in the Star Wars cinematic universe, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. without yeah. the Skywalker family being the main focus. I, Jeff, you're about to say Old Republic. I'm assuming that's where you're going. Where you Pretty to... much, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think many people know what the Old Republic is. So you have to be you, able to... You'd be surprised. There are a lot of Star Wars fans out there. That Star Wars fans, been... yes. But, but Disney cares about the people, monster. not just yes. Star Wars fans. But, but again, but again... If, hey, if they made like the Old Republic and just 
older Star Wars movies that's obviously not Star Wars, the uh, Skywalker saga, if they make it like the right movie and everything, Star Wars fans will pay to see that. I'm telling you. I, I don't I, think I, you I know, should just... I know 1,000% I, I would pay for the Old Republic movies. Listen, coronavirus is awful, but it, it, if it's giving us one thing, it's giving us a little bit of a breather to force Star Wars to not have the ability to make <laughs> yes. something right now so that we can get a and, little and, bit and of a that's break. Fine. That's yeah. fine. And yeah. uh, again, like, e- e- even if this wasn't going around, I would want to say, like, like, look, I, I need a break from all these movies coming out like every other six yeah. to eight months, basically. But if yeah. I'm, if I, I don't think I ever answered Matt's question, but if I will hit about being fatigued, I am kind of fatigued on kind of both of them, both Marvel and Star Wars. Yeah. And wait, yeah, after I, I, Endgame, I, get that. I liked Endgame. I liked how they ended that, but like, I'm not really interested in, there's just something about it. It's like, I'll see Guardians 3 or yeah. the next Spider-Man, but outside of that, I'm not that interested in the next kind of thing. Yeah, and I think that's fair, and I'm a big Marvel fan, and I, and I get that because, you know... It's a lot I, of movies. I, I thought, you know, the, fina- the, the essential finale of that state, that I, don't, I can't call it a phase because there's multiple... Of that era of Marvel yeah, yeah. was ended so perfectly. And the yeah. fact that, well, they made a lot of money, so they're going to keep making these movies. It's hard to have that same energy knowing that, okay, what's the next thing you're really building up to? I, I don't know if it's right. the inclusion of the Fantastic Four or the X-Men or something like that because Thanos was the he villain for 10 years. Yeah, and, yeah. and he did a phenomenal job. He's probably hands down one of the best villains in quite some time. He's probably one of the best movie villains of the 21st century. He's yeah. definitely one of the most iconic, for sure. Mm-hmm. So, For someone that tough. many people probably didn't know of beforehand, yeah. sure. Nope, no way. I mean, yeah. you, you know, I think you know, like, your, your Spider-Man villains, your Batman villains. I think Thanos was only something that a lot of hardcore fans knew, and now the entire world knows what yeah. he is. Uh, again, I, I didn't know much, if not anything, about Thanos when I first started getting into Marvel. I think that's even what after helped I... Marvel, too. Help, what helped yeah. Marvel is that nobody really knew much about the Marvel universe. And the big one that you just said, uh, Whitmer, is the Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't know anything about them. And I yeah. think that's what's cool. And, and they this, changed it because all the other yeah, they changed it movies, completely. especially listen, DC, went, we're going to go dark. Like, yeah, thing, which oh, was terrible. I mean, it's going to be that kind of way. But Guardians yeah. went a complete opposite. Like, yeah. we're going to have fun with this. We're going to be comedic kind of thing. It's going to be ridiculous, but it's going to be good. It's gonna be yeah, yeah, and then tie, bring in a great yeah. cast, too. Oh and if God, I could tie normal. back just to Star Wars alone. Nobody knew who Guardians of the Galaxy was, so that gave James Gunn, the director of mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy, and Marvel the opportunity to do whatever the heck they wanted. Yeah. Star Wars doesn't have that luxury because yeah. everybody knows what Star Wars is, and they have to follow certain beats, and that, that combines probably, them. Which is probably why DC took him, James Gunn. He's yeah. With, now he's doing the Suicide Squad, which will be – I'm excited, excited to see what that yeah. reboot's like. But James we'll Gunn's see. still doing Guardians 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Because he had a little thing – beforehand where it's like he might not be able to do it because the right. whole cast and everyone behind him was so supportive yeah whatever yeah. he was able to do yeah that's a controversy that i don't know much about so i don't want to say don't too much too much into that but right. like but there was a chance there that he wasn't going to do be some research if you're curious uh our our lovely viewing or listening yes. audience yes, yes. <laughs> but and, and, and viewing yeah mm-hmm. yeah but we'll see but even that because yeah. what they did was even the spider-man's because you've got two incarnations of spider-man beforehand and all those was this kid gets bit by a radioactive spider, I've and then before, that's how yeah. Spider-Man happens. But then when this one Tom happened, Holland. once Tom Holland happened, he already had it, so it was already. Which I like a lot, and I thought that was a perfect, very smart way move. To, mm-hmm. It was because again, how many times we've seen the origin story of oh how Peter Parker got his powers? Oh, how many times we see Uncle Ben die? Oh, this and this and that, and then you already had two Green Goblins. The first one, William Defoe, was perfect. It was it was really good. He's a great actor. So. <laughs> oh, he's he's phenomenal. Um, and then let's see here, what else? But uh, you know, you, you just yeah. <laughs> oh, did he say there was going to be another Into the Universe? What oh, um, the universe is Spider Verse. Yeah, Spider Verse. I think it's coming out in twenty. I want to say twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three. I'm not like gonna that, lie, yeah. and Matt, I, I think of all people, you're gonna get. Not necessarily if you say but, anything bad about Spider Verse, you have to leave the podcast because that's I, a I actually perfect movie. Seen it it yet. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. No, you have to see. I, I, I've been, I've been it's meaning excellent. to watch it. It's on Netflix. It's, it's so, so, so freaking good. 
how about this? At, at some point later tonight, I'll, I'll just watch. It's like it a and... top three animated movie for me. I think Holy it's so smokes. brilliant. Yeah. And like the first wow. thing is when I first saw it after my first viewing, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty good. I I enjoyed it. And then I watched it again, and it just absolutely knocked my socks yeah. off. Yeah. No. Again, it, it's I'll definitely have to uh, watch it because I've heard nothing but great, great reviews about it. I'm sure it's phenomenal. I just for whatever reason just. Get on it, Jeff. It. Jeff, you have to yeah. watch it tonight now. And you need All to right, have yeah. a, a review on it the next time we podcast. Okay. Yeah. There you okay, go. that sounds good. <laughs> That's your next review. Yeah, exactly. That's our unofficial official critique. Yes. Yeah.